Picture yourself in the dimly lit living room of your childhood home, the faint glow of the television casting an eerie yet mesmerizing spell. It was a different era, a simpler time, and as you sat cross-legged on the threadbare carpet, you couldn't have known that you were about to embark on a journey into the enigmatic world of the Master. The year was 1984, and the TV series was about to etch its indelible mark on your memory. As the opening credits rolled, you were transported to a realm of martial arts mastery, intrigue, and adventure like nothing you had ever seen before. The captivating story of John Peter McAllister, the elusive ninja master, and his young apprentice, Max Keller, unfolded before your eyes. Each episode was a portal to a new escapade, where cunning villains and age-old traditions clashed in a dance of combat and cunning. Memories of thrilling battles, mystic wisdom, and the iconic Lee Van Cleef as the stoic McAllister flooded your mind. The episodes left you hanging on the edge of your seat, hungry for more of their wisdom and combat prowess. And, of course, who could forget that memorable theme music that echoed in your mind long after the credits rolled? But now, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of the Master. Did you know that the show's creators drew inspiration from real martial arts traditions? and sought authenticity in their portrayal of combat techniques. Or perhaps you'd be surprised to learn that the series, despite its cult status, ran for just a single season, leaving fans craving for more adventures with McAllister and Max. So, as we journey back to the world of the Master and uncover its hidden gems, let's pay homage to that unforgettable first encounter that ignited our passion for this timeless TV series. It's time to revisit those cherished memories and unravel the secrets of this cult classic. In the middle of the episode Konoichi in the 1984 TV series The Master, a surprising revelation takes place. One of the villains, Allison Grant, who had been portrayed as a reporter, is unveiled as a former female ninja in training. This twist in the plot added an unexpected layer to the character and storyline. Interestingly, after this series aired, Sho Kasugi, who played the titular character John Peter McAllister, would later battle a possessed female ninja in the movie Ninja 3, The Domination, where he played the hero, in contrast to his role as a villain in The Master. Another notable aspect of the show is the butterfly medallion worn by McAllister. This medallion holds significance as it symbolizes his family in Japan. Any ninja who managed to defeat McAllister could claim the medallion as a mark of being a true master, which would effectively destroy his family legacy. The only time the medallion was taken away from McAllister within the show was by the female ninja, Allison Grant, following her revelation as Akasa's ninjutsu student. She temporarily wore it until McAllister successfully thwarted her assassination attempt in the episode Kanoichi. Additionally, the Master TV series begins with a distinctive visual element a glowing red ninja star. This same ninja star is used in the pilot episode, where it hits John Peter McAllister in the back, setting the stage for the series. It becomes a recurring symbol throughout the show and is eventually passed on to Max Keller, played by Timothy Van Patten, by McAllister himself. These intriguing elements, from the surprising character development to the symbolic significance of the butterfly medallion and the recurring ninja star motif, added depth and interest to the master, making it a memorable series from 1984. In the mid-80 seconds, a TV series called The Master caused quite a stir in the UK. It was blamed for a sudden interest in ninja-throwing stars among teenage boys. Teachers reported confiscating poorly made homemade stars from metalwork classes. This unexpected trend was linked to the show's portrayal of martial arts and ninja skills, which captivated young audiences. While the master may not have intended to spark a craze for ninja weapons, its influence on young minds was undeniable. One interesting connection in the show is the family tie between Kane Kasugi and Sho Kasugi. Kane Kasugi, who appeared in the series' final episode, is the son of Sho Kasugi. Sho not only played the series' villain, Akasa, but also worked as the stunt coordinator. This wasn't the first time they shared the screen as father and son. They previously appeared together in the movie Revenge of the Ninja, which also featured Ashley Ferrier, an actress who had a role in The Master as well. This family connection added an intriguing layer to the show's cast. The Master was inspired by the success of Enter the Ninja, a 1981 film starring Sho Kasugi and Franco Nero. 
This film was a major hit for Canon Films and kickstarted a ninja craze in the 80 seconds. It led to two sequels featuring Kasugi, Revenge of the Ninja, and Ninja 3, The Domination. The Ninja Fever continued with American Ninja, which spawned four sequels. Sho Kasugi himself starred in three more ninja films, Pray for Death, Nine Deaths of the Ninja, and Rage of Honor. The success of these films laid the groundwork for The Master and its martial arts-themed storyline. In conclusion, The Master left a mark in the UK, inadvertently sparking an interest in ninja-throwing stars among teenagers. It also had a unique family connection with Kane and Sho Kasugi, who had previously worked together in Revenge of the Ninja. The series was part of a broader ninja craze fueled by the success of Enter the Ninja and the subsequent films it inspired. The Master played its part in the martial arts wave of the 80 seconds, leaving a legacy that still resonates today. The Master, unraveling the ninja's vendetta in the 1984 TV series The Master, Akasa, played by Sho Kasugi, takes on the role of a relentless ninja villain with a vendetta. Akasa's backstory reveals that he was once a pupil of John Peter McAllister, the titular character. After McAllister decides to leave Japan in search of his long-lost daughter in the United States, Akasa becomes consumed by a desire to eliminate him and become the ultimate master ninja. Akasa's persistent pursuit of McAllister and his protege Max is a central theme throughout the series. He appears wherever they travel and constantly seeks to end McAllister's life. This vendetta between former mentor and pupil drives much of the tension and conflict in the show. Sho Kasugi, who portrays Akasa, had previously played a similar villainous role in his debut film, Enter the Ninja, three years before The Master. In both cases, he portrayed an evil black ninja, showcasing his martial arts skills and on-screen charisma. One notable aspect of The Master is its recurring narrative structure. Every episode after the pilot episode begins with a recap of Lee Van Cleef's character's backstory, accompanied by a flashback to a pivotal scene from the pilot episode. Timothy Van Patten provides narration that seamlessly transitions into the events of the latest episode, creating a sense of continuity and familiarity for viewers. In conclusion, The Master is a 1984 TV series with a captivating storyline revolving around the conflict between a former pupil, Akasa, and his mentor, John Peter McAllister. Sho Kasuga's portrayal of Akasa, a villain reminiscent of his earlier role in Enter the Ninja, adds depth to the show. The recurring narrative structure, with flashbacks and narration, keeps viewers engaged in the unfolding drama. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of the Master, we hope you've relished this journey through time and martial arts mastery. This remarkable TV series from 1984 has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the tapestry of television history. Now, as the final credits roll, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this iconic show. Did it transport you to a realm where discipline and honor reign supreme? Perhaps it stirred memories of late-night viewings with friends or family, sparking spirited debates about the characters and their fates. Or maybe it's a recent discovery, and you're just starting to unravel the layers of its timeless storytelling. No matter the nature of your connection, we'd love to hear your thoughts and cherished memories about the Master. What characters resonated with you the most? Were there any unforgettable scenes or quotes that continue to linger in your mind? Share your reflections with us and fellow fans as we celebrate the enduring legacy of this classic series. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey and for allowing us to be a part of your exploration of the Master. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Keep the conversation alive, share your stories, and keep the spirit of the Master alive for generations to come.